to take your 3D art to the next level, it is often recommended to do some compositing work. But Blender isn't necessarily the best when it comes to doing that, to say the least. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at some of the best Blender add-ons that can help you when it comes to compositing. We're gonna start with Colorist Pro, which is a newly released add-on that gives you the power to experience the magic of real-time color grading. But let's discover why this is the case. So, Colorist Pro is an add-on that allows us to color grade our scenes directly within the Blender's viewport. But first, it is also worth mentioning that it also comes with two exceptional LUT packs, the Colorist Pro pack and the Hollywood Inspired pack. The first is a collection of seven LUTs specifically created for Blender, while the other is a pack of nine LUTs that are inspired by some of the most iconic movies from recent times, such as The Joker, Fallen Angels, Blade Runner 2049, and so on. In a nutshell, the add-on allows you to achieve some of the most popular color adjustments right in Blender's workspace, and you can see your scene updating instantly, which is fantastic. Among these, we can find some color grading options, such as white balance, hue, and saturation. In addition to contrast, exposure, tone, and effects to stylize the look of your renders, such as lens flare, dirt, and glare, and many other options. Now, let's talk about Quick Compo, and I believe the name is self-explanatory, especially for this one. This add-on is a fast and easy way to easily add compositing effects to your scene. The interface of this tool reminds me a bit of Adobe Lightroom. We have a collection of more than 30 presets that we can add from the top of the menu. After that, we can adjust the different elements of it. And as you can see, it is divided into two sections. First, we have a color section for adjustments like tint, vibrance, and temperature. Then we have other areas like a luminosity section for light adjustments and many more sections to add things like noise, lens distortion, and vignette. We can also toggle off the effects that we don't want to use. It is also possible to design and save our presets. So while it may not be the most powerful add-on out there, it can be an interesting solution if you want to deal with a job quickly. Compositor Pro is another newly released add-on, which is all about helping you as an artist produce high-quality renders inside Blender. But how does it do that, you might ask? For those of you who are not familiar with it, post-processing in Blender is typically carried out in its dedicated compositing section with the help of nodes. But let's be honest, they can be lackluster in many cases. So instead of reinventing the wheel, this add-on prefers to make this workflow even more impressive by providing a collection of more than 45 exciting nodes, which are both powerful and simple at the same time. Within this set of nodes, we can find a rich variety of compositing operations such as color grading tools, thresholding, variable image clamps, and nodes designed to stylize and improve our projects, including lens flares, film grains, vignettes, you name it, and all of the usual compositing tools we can find in other software. This tool, similar to many other add-ons, is presented as a simple side panel. However, the way it works is a bit different from what we are used to. First off, you choose the category you are after, such as color grading, utilities, and such. Let's say you go for mixed effects. From there, all that is left to do is drag it to the compositing workspace as a node. And each node also has its sliders to customize it however you like, I mean, however you want it to look like. And there's also a quick mix feature that makes it easy to mix two nodes rapidly. Now, let's shift our focus to an add-on that has been around for several years. I'm talking about Enrich. So how does it compare to the other add-ons? Well, unlike Compositor Pro, the idea behind Enrich is following the other school of thought when it comes to compositing. So it is basically a layer-based compositing add-on, the very same system that we can find in some popular software such as Adobe Photoshop or After Effects. Now, in terms of the effects it offers, there are a lot to pick from, such as color balance, lens, vignette, in addition to others. It also comes with a vast library of pre-made presets to try out unique moods on renders with a single click, 
which is gonna help you save some time. Additionally, it has masking features that became even more powerful with the recent update. What's also important to note is that the add-on is built on the nodes that come with Blender's compositor by default. Next we have Uber Compositor, another add-on that has been around and available for a long time now. After installing the add-on and loading it into the compositor, we can notice a collection of connected nodes being added to it. And the idea behind that is to include some of the most common compositing effects as a series of easy to use nodes, which can be both convenient and a huge time saver. I mean, imagine having to add each of those effects separately. I mean, every single time. It's not fun, right? In the first layer, we can find some of the most used color adjustment operations in compositing, such as white and black levels, shadow, tint, and exposure. And when it comes to the second node, it is all about stylizing your renders with effects. For example, we can add a vignette, film grain, or chromatic aberration. And to finish our renders, we have two more nodes to either add glare or soft glow. In a sense, it is like a little compositing pipeline inside Blender. And that goes directly to the point without wasting time. Next in line, we have post effects. So which one is it this time? Is it based on layers or it is node based? Well, what's cool about this add-on is that in a sense a marriage between both. I mean both of them. Let me explain. Post Effects is an add-on that emerges as a solution that comes with more than 40 compositing tools and controls, which we can discover through either a layer-based workflow similar to that of Enrich, like for example we have categories such as adjustments, filters, and effects and another section to choose the effect type from our desired category, such as contrast, vibrance, and warmth. And naturally, it also has many of the expected compositing tools and effects, including but not limited to levels, lens, radio blur, and much more, like the ones that were added in the 2.0 update. The add-on also comes with some additional features, such as the auto-alignment of the nodes, an instant image export option, and a collection of filters such as Dreamy, Matrix, and Gritty. By the way, there is also a free version of the add-on, and it offers two adjustments, two effects, and two filters for you to test and decide for yourself whether it is worth it or not. So guys, if you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.